Hey guys, it's Ryan with the Ryzen Group and Keller Williams Marquee and bringing you another video of the August 2022 market recap. For the past several months, we've been kind of going over things of is we are we going to start seeing some some different numbers here uh, in 2022? Interest rates are going up, and uh, it you know maybe some buyers are leaving the market. Are we going to start seeing a difference? We're going to flip around and see if we are seeing a difference or not. All right, let's take a look at new listings. And new listings were actually down in 2022. Month supplies in 2022. August, we're still at the same as what we were in 2021. So you might have heard me say before that a six month supply is, is a healthy uh, supply. And we are only at 1.8, which means we are still heavily in a seller's market. So for price per square foot, we are actually up on every single one from 2022. Uh, to 20, 2021. It looks like Highland here has a 18% increase uh, from last year in price per square foot in August and uh, Triad's 12% and Edwardsville 7% and Collinsville is 0.8%. All up from August of 2021. If you remove the, uh, just if you look at more everything on a, uh, on a larger footprint, uh, in our MLS, for our entire MLS here, it's actually up um, 10, 10 bucks from 2021. So that gives us a real good number that 2022 prices still rose and, and in August prices, even though interest rates are up, prices are still up. For the entire MLS, closed sales are down, so we just don't have enough inventory. And here's that total inventory for the entire MLS. We're sitting at uh, 52.76 we are uh, up in August from 2022. We're at 200, 280,000 where we were at 265 in 2021 at this time. So we have had an increase of 5.7% across the entire MLS. And percent of list price. Now here's something that's kind of interesting here. Percent of list price has actually gone down. So as you can see, no real difference. The only real difference that we really seen was the fact that uh, the percent of list price, which is basically, you know, we're listing at, let's say, 100000 If we list at 100000 typically, uh, you know, we're getting $100,400 now versus when we were in 2021, we were getting $100,001, and one, or $101,000. Uh, so that's the only thing that's really down. Everything else is is still, you know, it just kind of shows in this area for our MLS, the market is still pushing forward. So uh, it's still a seller's market. There's still multiple offers out there. There's still backup offers. And uh, so it's just, uh, it's just still busy, still busy, still got to get out there fast and see a house. You know, the, the days of like in 2022, whenever you can potentially wait a little bit and, uh, you know, go see it over the weekend or, you know, if a house list, you still need to be getting, we're not in that time frame of you have, you know, you can sit back and, and, and wait for, uh, the perfect day to go take a look at it where, or, or have a few houses to go look at. We're still in the market of, if it's a nice house, you better be getting your butt out there and seeing it as fast as possible and getting an offer in as fast as possible. We're still in that market and it doesn't look like anything's slowing down yet. That's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys just have a wonderful day. Uh, this video is a little longer than it's, you know, it's we're all the way, all the way through the middle of September already. And uh, just not getting this video out to you guys, but I definitely wanted to get it out because there's a lot of questions as what's on what's happening with the market. So there it is. And uh, we'll look to see what September brings and if September brings anything different. If I had to guess, I doubt it will. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. You guys have a wonderful day. And my name's Ryan with the Ryzen Group. I'm here to help you guys. If you guys need anything, please feel free to give me a call uh, on my cell phone if you'd like, 618-670-6418. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.